Number 12, as we can see that we have a word problem here, and whenever we are trying to deal with a word problem, the most important thing is that do not give up. Let's read through the questions and try to translate the questions into equation. It says the sum of squares of two consecutive negative odd integer is uh, 202. And we're trying to find out both integers. Okay? So the most important thing in this question is that we have to make sure that we understand what does it mean by consecutive negative odd integers. So let me give some example first. And let me start with the consecutive odd integers. So odd numbers are like you know, 1, 3, 5, 7. I can have uh, 25, 27, things like that, or 209. Those are odd numbers. And if I start with, let me say, 13. So that's an odd number. And the next odd number will be 15. And that's what I mean by consecutive odd integers. I can also have, let's say, 27. And the next one will be 29. You can also have 51. The next odd integer will be 53, just like that. Okay. And notice that they are always off by 2. So starting from 13, I need to add 2 to get to the next odd integer. And likewise, 27, I have to add 2 to get to 29. 51, I also have to add 2 to get to 53. And if I ever start with my first odd integer as x, then the next one will be, I have to just add to it, it will be x plus 2. Just like that. x is the first odd integer, and the next one will be x plus 2. Okay. And now, I would also like to talk about if I, what happens what if I have negative odd integers. This is just positive numbers, but in the question, we want to have negative odd integers. So, consecutive um, negative odd, oops, I don't need a point for this, integers, like that, okay? So, if I have, um, let's say, negative 5 as my first negative odd integer, the next one, it's not going to be negative 7, but rather it will be negative 3. Okay? Because negative 5 is smaller than negative 3. And you see that again, we just have to add 2 to negative 5 in order to get negative 3. And if I start with, let's say, negative 11, the next odd integer, which is going to be, once again, I just need to add 2 to it, will be negative 9. So the formula is actually the same. If I ever start with my first negative i integer as x, then the next one will be x plus 2. Okay? So we are going to use x for my first negative i integer, and x plus 2 will be my uh, second, will be my next um, negative i integer. And those will be what we call the consecutive negative odd integers, x and x plus 2. I don't know what they are yet, we're going to solve it, okay? So perhaps I'll just write this down to make it, um, to make it more you know, clear. I will say, let x be the first, cons first negative Odd integer, and as we see over there, before I raise x plus 2 will be the next negative odd integer, and now I can raise that. And hopefully, the example will show you why this is correct. Okay, so now we got what we want the consecutive negative odd integers. And we just have to follow what the direction says. I'm not looking for just a sum, but it's the sum of the squares. So I'm going to square the x, and I'm also going to square the x plus 2. 
So that equal, that sentence becomes this. We will have to work it out as x. Uh, let me write it in red. I will have to work it out as x squared. Okay. Plus, I'll put the parentheses, x plus 2 squared. This will represent the sum of squares of my first and the next negative odd integers. The sum is equal to 202. 202. See that? Oops, 20 wrong. Right here. 202, just like that. So this is how we can come up with an equation. And now the rest is, we just need to solve it. So x squared is just x squared, but the x plus 2 squared, we have to multiply it out. Okay, and let me do that right here. x plus 2 squared, this means we will have x plus 2 times x plus 2 like that. And then we have to just throw this out. Or you can use the formula, but let me show you guys how to throw this out. This is x squared, and x times 2 is plus 2x, and then 2 times x plus 2x, lastly, um, 2 times 2, lastly, two, uh, 4. And we can combine terms. This is just x squared, but then the positive 2x and the positive 2x becomes plus 4x, and the last one is still plus 4. So this will turn out to be that. We can just say this is plus x squared plus 4x plus 4. And that equals to 202. OK? And now we just have to keep combining line terms and see what can we get. I see that I have x squared plus x squared. That will give us. 2x squared and half um, plus 4x. But I already noticed that this is x to the second power, so the equation is quadratic. Let me move the 202 to the other side so that we can make one side equal to 0. Let me minus 202 here, cancel this out, and also minus 202 right here. 4 minus 202 will be minus. 198, and that will be 0, OK? So here I have 2x squared plus 4x minus 198 is equal to 0. And since we have an equation, we can divide the equations, divide everything by a certain number. In this case, I can divide everything by 2, because all these numbers are divisible of 2, divisible by 2. So let me divide by 2. This way will make our calculations easier, easier. This is x squared, that will be plus 2x, this is minus 99, that equals to 0. And now I have to just factor this out. Okay. So to get x squared, which is just x times x, that's how we can get x squared. And to break down negative 99, Okay, think about two numbers, when you multiply, you will, you will get negative 99. And the sum of those two numbers has to add up to be um, positive 2. And the correct numbers to use is positive 11 and negative 9. Plus 11 and minus 9 like this. Equal to 0. Set the first parentheses, x plus 11 equals to 0. Also, the second parentheses, x minus 9 equals to 0. For the first number, for, for the first um, equation right here, after we minus 11 on both sides, as we can see that we get x is equal to negative 11. For the second one, adding 9 on both sides, we get x is equal to positive 9. Okay? And keep in mind, well, first of all, we have two um, answers. But keep in mind, I want x to be my first negative odd integers. I want x to be negative numbers. I want x to be negative 11. So 9, it's not my x. Okay, it's not the x in this case. 
So my answer right here, okay, my answer right here, um, we will have the first answer, which is, let me write it over there, so maybe it's easier. So for my answer right here, x is equal to negative 11 as my first uh, negative odd numbers. And the next number right, will be just plus 2 to it. So negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. And these are both of the integers that we want. This is x, and this is x plus 2. x is equal to negative 11. The next r integer will be negative 9. Okay? And that's it. We want to find both integers like that. That's it. Perhaps this is just a bonus. You can do a quick check. Negative 11 squared plus negative 9 squared. What do we get? This is uh, positive 121, and this is positive 81. And as you can see, 202, which satisfies the original uh, question. And that's it.